You've tried several treatments, some of which I've recommended in my previous videos, such as small training, zinc, vitamin A supplements, steroid therapy, PRP therapy. Yet you still have loss of smell with minimal improvement and in some cases, not at all. Well, how about ivermectin? This is an antiparasitic drug that is shown to treat parasitic infections such as those caused by roundworm, scabies, head lice, and skin conditions such as rosacea. Ivermectin comes in the form of tablets, creams, and lotion. The tablet form is what we're talking about in terms of treating COVID. Ivermectin has shown to have antiviral properties by blocking the replication of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and to be beneficial in the prevention and treatment of COVID as well as long COVID symptoms such as loss of smell and taste. There was a study done in September 2020 on ivermectin using 21 patients with persistent loss of smell or reduced sense of smell. 67% showed complete improvement after just two days, which means they got the smell back. And then for the remaining subjects, aspirin was added and they had another two more doses of ivermectin and you had 86% showing total improvement after five days. 14% showed partial improvement. However, we need more studies to increase the data evidence and then hopefully avermectin will be approved in countries like the US and the UK. Currently in the UK, there are ongoing clinical trials such as the principal trial. This is the world's largest trial that looks at possible COVID treatments that would help to speed up recovery, reduce severity of symptoms and help avoid hospital admissions. So basically, if you go to the principal website, you can enroll for the trial if you're eligible and so far, there are over 5,000 volunteers. So let's take a look at the website. The website states that following a screening questionnaire to confirm eligibility, participants enrolled in the study will be randomly assigned to receive a three-day course of oral ivermectin. They will be followed up for 28 days and will be compared with participants who have been assigned to receive the usual standard of NHS care only. People aged 18 to 64 with certain underlying health conditions or shortness of breath from COVID-19 or aged over 65 are eligible to join a trial within the first 14 days of experiencing COVID-19 symptoms or receiving a positive test. People with severe liver disease who are on the blood thinning medication such as warfarin or take other treatments known to interact with ivermectin will be excluded. I mean, I couldn't tell you how ivermectin improves sense of smell. Maybe it's something to do with COVID causing cell damage as opposed to nerve damage. But to see such improvement in such a short space of time is amazing. And if any of you have been given ivermectin and noticed improvement in your sense of smell and taste, please drop some comments below. You can also check out my other video on ivermectin, which covers more evidence on the use of ivermectin and feel free to subscribe to my channel.